inequalities. We'll start off by looking at a normal inequality. We've got 4 times 5 minus 4x is less than 10 minus 2 lots of 4x plus 3. Expand them out, you get 20 minus 16x is less than 10 minus 8x minus 6. Jiggle everything about, you get 20 minus 16x is less than 4 minus 8x. We've got two ways we can do this. If we put all the x's onto the same side, making the x's positive, we end up with 20 take away 4, 16 is less than 8x. Clearly tells you that x is greater than 2. Or we can put them onto the other side and we see that 6, minus 16 plus 8x is less than 4 minus 20 tells you that minus 8x is less than minus 16. That also tells you that x is greater than 2. But the reason for that is when you divide by a negative, you have to flip your inequality sign around. When we're dealing with further inequalities, that's inequalities with algebraic rational expressions, we don't know whether we moving across a positive number or a negative number. So the only way we've got to deal with that is by guaranteeing what we multiply through by is always a positive number. We'll have a look at x plus 6 over x minus 4 is less than 4. The way we're going to guarantee it's a positive number is by multiplying by the denominator squared, remembering that squared numbers are always positive for real numbers. Very easily, one of the x minus 4's cancel. We end up with x plus 6 times x minus 4 is less than 4. Lots of expand this out. x squared minus 8x plus 16. Again, expanding it all out. x squared plus 6x minus 4x minus 24 is less than 4x squared minus 32x plus 64. Keeping all the x's positive, so much nicer. We end up with 3x squared. That's plus 2, so we'll bring it on across, it becomes minus 34x. That's minus 24, so bring it across, it becomes plus 88. And that is all greater than 0. The way we deal with these quadratic inequalities, we factorise them, we find our critical values, we draw a quick sketch, and we decide the range. So factorise it, you get 3x, x, 88 will split into 22 and 4 and they both have to be negative. That tells us that x is 22 over 3, which is just over 7, and x equals 4. Draw ourselves a quick sketch. Remembering that the smaller ones are 4, the bigger ones are 22 over 3. We're looking for when that is greater than 0. So that's the bits on the end, they're the wings. So that's x is less than 4, and also x is greater than 22 over 3. Let's have another look at one of these uh, algebraic rational expressions. We'll look at 3x plus 3 all over x minus 4 is greater than 6. What we do, guarantee we times in through by a positive, multiply through by that denominator squared. So that's 3x plus 3 all over x minus 4 multiplied by the x minus 4 squared. One of them will cancel straight away. You end up with 3x plus 3 times x minus 4 greater than 6 lots of x squared minus 8x plus 16. This point I'm noticing that I've got a 3x plus 3. I can factorise a 3 out. I could have done it right from the original equation but we'll do it now. 3 lots of x plus 1 times x minus 4 is greater than 6 lots of x squared minus 8x plus 16. Cancel out your 3's, the 6 will become a 2. Multiply out what we've got, we've got x squared plus x minus 4x minus 4 is greater than 2x squared minus 16x plus 32. Again moving them all to the same side to keep your x squared positive, we get x squared minus 13x plus 36 is less than 0. Factorising it again, nice easy factorisation, that's going to be an x and a 4, an x and a 9. x minus 9, x minus 4, quick sketch, 4 and the 9, happy quadratic. 
we're wanting for then this is less than zero, that's the sandwich bit in the middle. Thank you very much.